ओपन ए आई एंड एंथ्रोपिक आर रूलिंग द लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स एरिना एट द मोमेंट इफ देर इज वन कंपनी विच इज गिविंग सीरियस रन फॉर देर मनी टू दीज ओपन ए आई एंड एंथ्रोपिक आई बिलीव दैट इज दिस अन सीरीज ऑफ मॉडल्स विच आर ओपन सोर्स ओपन वेटेड and they are very close in performance to these open ai and anthropics model even in various benchmarks these models have shown some serious performance even when compared to open source models like llama 3.1 405 billion just few hours back unto 0.5 has been released and in this family 13 new models have been released in just a span of few hours the capabilities of this model are simply amazing in this video i am going to introduce you to this new model plus we will also be installing one of the smallish model locally and then we will see how it performs i will be covering all of these models in this family one by one so stay tuned on the channel before i show you the installation and we go further into it let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpus coming back to this un 2.5 which has just been released it's seriously a party of models as they have been mentioning on their announcement because there have been 13 models in various sizes which have been released for instance for the regular un 2.5 the range goes from 0.5 billion to 72 billion and the cool thing is this even the 72 billion one is open weighted there are some licensing quirks which i'll mention shortly but this vanilla 2.5 goes from 0.5 billion to 1.5 billion 3 billion 7 billion and 14 billion and 32 billion let me actually quickly take you there this is what i'm talking about so this is a series a uh, series and then they have also released a coder one and then even in the math there are three variants how good is that now if you go to few of the benchmarks and model cards this gives you a bit more information around the architecture and other stuff of this family so all of these models are pre trained on their latest large scale data set which comprises up to 18 trillion tokens that's correct 18 trillion not billion compared to the previous un2 this un2.5 has acquired significantly more knowledge and has greatly improved capabilities in coding and maths and they have given uh, different models for it as i just showed you all of these new models have achieved significant improvements in instruction following generating long text even over 8k or 8000 tokens it also understands structured data like tables json and it also generates structured output especially in json they are more resilient to the diversity of system prompts so even if you don't uh, strictly follow it they will still give you good performance which actually means you can do a very cool role play with it so i am expecting lot of fine tuned role play models in the coming days based on un2.5 also it supports up to 128k tokens in terms of context and um, they also man maintain multilingual support for over 29 languages which includes chinese english french spanish german italian uh, thai arabic and few more also uh, as i mentioned you can see on the screen they have this coder model they have this math model which are specific to coding and maths these are the expert models or the specialized models and they have um, also been trained on various reasoning methods including chain of thought program of thought and tool integrated reasoning or tir so function calling is also there and you can see that how many number of layers and context length is there which i just mentioned also if you look through the comparison of benchmarking and performance um they have benchmarked their largest model in this series which is un2.2.5 uh, 72 billion 
which is a 72 billion parameter dense decoder only language model and you can see that when it is compared with llama 3.170 billion mistral large version 2 and deep seek v2.5 the performance of this 72 billion from 1.25 is quite good in some cases uh, if you look at for example this mbp benchmark it has really performed well and even arena hard and all of these benchmarks are quite reputed and if you don't know what these benchmarks are i already have done few videos explaining them in great detail also they have shared a lot of other benchmarking information even with um, gpt4 o and cloud 3.5 sonnet which is present in their um, announcement i'm not going to go into detail of all of it you can read through it it's quite an interesting read so that said and done let's go to my terminal and then get this thing installed so let me quickly take you to my terminal just give me a second i'm moving there let me open it this is where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 courtesy mass compute with 48 gb of vram let me clear my screen let me quickly create a virtual environment i'm just going to call it un here let's wait for it to get created so my conda environment is created let me install all the prerequisites in it which include torch transformers and make sure that you install it from source so the transformers i mean because it's very latest so what now uh, we are going to do is to install this teeny tiny model uh, from this family which is only 0.5 billion instruct and as i mentioned i will be covering uh, most of these models in the upcoming video so let's start with this 0.5 billion one so as i mentioned um, it's a very uh, causal and smallish language model from un 2.5 the parameters are just 0.49 billion and the non-embedding parameters are 0.36 billion there are 24 layers and also it also uses gqa which is a grouped query attention and number of attention heads are 14 for q and 2 for kv if you don't know what gqa is please search my channel i have done a separate video on it the context window is 32k which means that it can just cover that much data in one go and it generates 8k tokens in one go even this teeny tiny model which is really amazing okay so let's go back to my terminal it is still installing this stuff so let's wait for it to finish okay so all the prerequisites are done let me launch my jupyter notebook so that we could download and play with model in browser environment let's wait for it to get loaded so my jupyter notebook is launched let me import the libraries and then we are going to download this new model and with the tokenizer and you can see that the model is just 988 meg let's wait for it to finish you can run it on cpu easily so model is downloaded let's do some of the inference tests on it so in this first one we are asking it the seminal question that how many hours are there in word strawberry most of the models get it wrong maybe due to the the way they are uh, architectured but let's try it out it's a usual stuff where we are giving the prompt we are specifying the system and user roles and we are converting the text into tokens with tokenizer we are generating the output from model and then decoding it back and printing the response and there you go can you believe that that such a small model it was able to answer it correctly if you have been following my channel just last night as per australian time zone i created a video on 22 billion parameter from mistral and it was unable to answer it correctly most of the models get it wrong but this 0.5 billion model has got it right which is very impressive in the next one i am doing it another test which is filled by many models like write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty let's wait for it to see what it does there you go okay no i don't think so it was able to do so okay so this one has been failed royally by the model okay as we know that it is it says that it can generate eight thousand tokens in one go so let's try out this prompt 
I am asking it to write me a research paper on data set preparation for an AI model, come up with some new idea and give as much detail as possible. Now here in the max new token I have put in 8000. So let me run this one. So while this runs, let's open our another window and let's check the GPU consumption. Let me maybe just put it here and then check it out. So you see out of my 40 GB of VRAM, it is just using over one GB, around 1.3. So VRAM consumption is good. Let me run it again to show you how it's staying there because the whole model is in the VRAM. It's a, such a teeny tiny model. As I mentioned, you can simply run it on CPU too. So I believe it is still what is happening here. Yeah. So, okay. So it is done. And if I scroll down, it has generated something, but it's not big enough. I think it just wrote a paper. So maybe instead of paper, and if you look at it, it's actually quite nicely written. I mean, data cleaning, preparation and all that stuff. Anyway, so instead of paper, then I'm just going to say, write me a romantic novel. And maybe let me put it here. So you can see that I have expanded on this prompt. I am asking it to write a novel length story, approximately 8,000 words about an, uh, I'll just say AI YouTuber here. AI YouTuber who falls in love with an AI model, specifically explore the tale of Echo, a charismatic AI YouTuber who finds himself entangled in a forbidden romance with Luna, a cutting edge language model designed to assist him in content creation. Okay. Um, and then I'm just giving it here 8,000 max new tokens, as you can see. So let's see if it is able to do it now. Let me run it. Let's wait for it to come back. And there you go. It has produced some chapters here. Let's try to see how many chapters are there. There you go. It is going on and on and on. And then, um, but I haven't, I don't think so. It is producing 8,000 words. Yep, it has just written one chapter and that's about it. Maybe it is a limitation of my collab, but anyway, um, I have seen models spewing out data about data and data here, but that is fine. I will try it more to see how it goes or maybe I'll just count it. So I have just used this online word counter and you can see there are close to 15,000 words in it and then 9,000 characters. So maybe it is, it also depends upon tokens, right? How it is defining the tokens within, is it characters or words or sentences anyway, but all in all, if you go, sorry, if you go back here and if you read this prose, I just wrote, read a couple of um, paragraphs and the story looks quite coherent. It hasn't lost the plot and it's very, very well written. So if you're looking for a smallish model to write stories, short stories, I would say, I think, um, this could be a real good contender and as always the quality of content from this unto model is really good even with the smaller size so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about these two models as uh, new models as i mentioned i'll be covering them more one by one especially very keen to try out that coding and math one and maybe if i get my chance the 72 billion in the full but I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.